Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying something new. I'm gonna be attempting to get a chippy finish with milk paint on this old farmhouse dresser that I found at the thrift store. This is my first time doing this and it was really intimidating for me to do this because you don't really have a lot of control when you're working with milk paint trying to get it to chip. This is definitely gonna be more of a vlog style type of video since I have never tried to achieve this finish before. I wanna just give you the experience so that you can have more confidence if you wanna tackle a chippy milk paint finish. So if you wanna see how this project turns out, just keep watching. Before we jump into today's video, I wanted to share a little bit about today's sponsor, Zebra Paint Brushes. These are some of my favorite brushes, you guys. You have seen me use them all over my channel. And I love this company because of how much they love furniture painters just like me. They run monthly contests and feature different artists on their podcast, the Before and After Podcast. They have just launched a brand new website and this thing is gorgeous and so easy to navigate. One of my favorite features is they actually have a quiz where you can answer what kind of project you're working on and they're gonna give you a brush recommendation for that project, so cool. Their brushes are such great quality, but the most amazing thing is how affordable these brushes are and they're gonna make them even more affordable for you today. They're gonna give you guys 10% off your order with the code Christina10. I definitely recommend checking out this section with these little kits. They come in bundles and this one is definitely my favorite and you get this cute little tote for free. So make sure you go check out Zebra and their new website. Okay, let's get this project started. I am very excited about this piece. This is my best find I've ever had. I found this at Goodwill when I was dropping stuff off for my daughter. It's like a little farmhouse, all wood. It was in pretty good shape, except the middle drawer um, was sticking, but I thought I could fix that. It was missing hardware, but I didn't like the hardware anyway, so that wasn't a big deal to me. It did come with a mirror, but someone had previously repaired it and they just kind of damaged it beyond use. But I'm still gonna do the frame because I've seen it decorated cute without actually having the mirror in there. I'm gonna admit to you guys that for wanting to resell this, I did overpay for this. I paid $90 for this at Goodwill. That is outrageous, but I have wanted to refinish a piece like this my whole life, so I just did it. As I mentioned, I couldn't get the middle drawer in. I think this had been stored outside or something, so it just warped. So I'm just sanding it down a little bit. If you don't have a sander like mine, you can just use a wood file and just keep filing in different places where it's sticking until you can push it all in. So once I got that all done, it was working properly, yay. Next up, I am cleaning my piece. I have got some warm water and some TSP soap. That's why I'm wearing gloves. And I have a scrubby sponge just to remove all that dirt and grease and grime that may be on this really old piece before I start painting. When I use a TSP soap, it's really, really important to rinse your piece really well. So I have a clean bucket of water and a rag and I am removing all that soap and making sure I don't have any residue on my piece before I start painting. Paint I'm working with today, it's actually organic and natural and the wax I'm gonna be using is natural as well. So if you wanted more of a natural cleaner, if you're gonna be milk painting, you could always use vinegar and water as well. I also decided to strip the finish off of these drawers. I really liked the wood grain. I thought it was pretty. So I thought I was gonna go with a two-toned kind of effect on this dresser. So I just stripped the finish off with a 60 grit sandpaper and then went in and did additional coats of 120 and then 220. Like I said, I know I wanted to replace the hardware um, and I already have it picked out. It's these cute little knobs, so I need to fill my holes. So I'm just using some wood epoxy to fill in those holes. This is my first time using this product and I really love it. It gets hard really quickly and it was easy to fill these holes without having to do a layer upon layer of putty. Okay, so my piece is all clean prepped, ready to go. So I'm gonna go mix up my milk paint and cross my fingers and say a little prayer that I get some chippiness today. I am using a Shacto Interiors milk paint today in the color Sea Glass. This paint comes in powder form and you mix it up yourself in a one-to-one -one ratio with water and powder. 
This particular paint comes with very detailed, easy instructions because this is only my third time using milk paint. And I'm definitely not an expert at this. I just am so intrigued by all the people out there that paint with milk paint. So I'm trying it out today and maybe you guys will want to try it too. Once you get the water and the paint in the container together, seal it with a really tight lid, shake it up, and then you're going to let it set for 15 minutes. So I'm just stirring it up and making sure there are no clumps of powder in there. And I'm going to be applying it with the Zebra two and a half inch sash brush. This is a new brush and I thought this would be great to get these flat surfaces done quickly. Once I started painting this on, I noticed that my paint was just a little bit too thick. It wasn't really gliding over the surface like I knew it was supposed to. So I just kept adding a little bit of water until I got it at the consistency that I wanted. I'm going for a chippy finish, so I haven't done anything to this paint. If you don't want your finish to chip off at all, you can add this product called Extra Bond. I used it before the last time I did a video with milk paint because my client didn't want any chipping. I am going for a chippy look today, so I'm not gonna be using the Extra Bond. You don't really know how a piece is gonna chip or react to this paint. That's kind of the fun <laughs> in it. Um, how this paint is different from chalk paint is obviously it is a lot thinner than chalk paint. Um, you can still paint over an existing finish like this, but once it dries down, it's going to crack and react, especially as you add more layers of the paint and it's going to chip and distress in areas in a completely unpredictable way. So we'll see how that happens on this piece. I'm also gonna be using this Zebra round brush. They just redesigned this and it has a shorter handle and it is so comfortable and it's great for getting into details. So I used this on all my trim work and then I came back in with that two and a half sash to really get those flat areas. This paint is a lot thinner than chalk style paints, so it was really drippy. So I did have to watch around areas like where any of my edges touched and really make sure I didn't have any drips and smooth those out. I propped up my mirror frame and painted that as well. Like I said, the mirror is not usable, but I've seen these decorated really cute with the frame on. And if it doesn't turn out, I don't have to use it, but I thought I would just paint it just in case. I'm gonna do all my painting in one day, so I'm just gonna seal up my container and wait for my next coat. I mixed up a little bit more paint in my same container and I'm just putting on my second coat. Um, I didn't see any chipping after the first coat, but I wasn't worried about that because I know it usually chips more after the second coat. And as this was going on, I knew I was going to have to do a third coat because of how light this color is and how dark my dresser was.
Okay, I let this dry overnight and I see a lot of chippiness, so I'm excited to go in there and start scraping with it. I was really impatient last night and wanted to just play with the mirror a little bit, and so I've run into a problem. Let me show it to you. I didn't really think about when I was sanding these drawers down, like how different this color looks from the original color. So I think the plan now is to just go back in and paint the drawers so everything will be one color. And I was testing out the hardware and you know, don't really need know what to do with this situation. So the paint is gonna cover that up as well. Milk paint actually works great on raw wood. So I just sanded down all my epoxy and painted my drawers. These all got three coats too. These are not going to chip because I am going over a raw surface as opposed to an existing finish. Here is the chippy goodness I was talking about. So all these little spots all over my dresser, I'm going to grab a putty knife and just start chipping away at them. And the finish is going to just flake off in random areas. You cannot control this. So if you are a perfectionist or a control freak, this is going to be really hard for you. I, I think, I feel like I'm a reformed control freak. So it was kind of fun because I wanted this finish, but the fact that I couldn't control where this was happening was a little scary. Um, I definitely recommend using a metal putty knife over this like plastic one that I had. This one was red and I noticed that it started leaving like little pink marks on my piece. So I switched to a metal one and the metal one actually worked way better. And I was concerned that it was going to scratch up my surface, but it didn't, it was fine. And after I got most of my chippiness off, I would go in with this really fine sanding pad. I think this is like a 400 and was just rubbing over the whole surface to make sure I was getting any loose chips up. And it was really smoothing out my paint as well. So I ended up sanding the whole piece with the sanding pad. And I don't know why it is taking me this long to get furniture casters. I love these things. <laughs> So I just wanted to reiterate that I did sand down the entire piece with this 400 grit sanding pad and I did my mirror frame too. This made a big mess so I made sure that I wiped down my piece really well with a tack cloth just to get any of those loose bits off and any of that dust that I kicked up and I actually got the shop vac out too and vacuumed up all those chips because it was annoying me. This is Zebra's before and after. I'm your host Lane Ball. Gotta listen to Lane and the crew while I'm painting. I'm going to seal my piece with the Shacto Interiors Furniture Wax. This is all natural, plant-based, and it's actually scented with lavender essential oils, and it smells so yummy. So I'm just applying this with a lint-free cloth. This is one of those Intex rags that I use all the time. This stuff applies super easy. It's really similar to Big Mama's Butter, if you've ever seen me work with that before. On my last milk paint piece, I used hemp oil, so that's another option. Um, but I definitely told Kristen I wanted to try out this wax because it smells great. And it was really easy to apply. I just put it on in circular motions and back and forth and up and down. So I got in all the nooks and crannies of the milk paint. The milk paint absorbs this really well and it deepens the color of the paint as well as the wood. My rack was breaking down a little bit, so I actually grabbed one of my Dixie Belle applicator pads to apply this because I've used that in the past to apply natural wax, and I love the way that it went on with this applicator pad. So this is a good option to apply this natural wax as well. Mm -hmm. 
So since this video is all about pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, I decided I wanted to line these drawers and line the sides too, just because they were just really old and beat up and I wanted them to be pretty like the piece. So I bought this wallpaper off of Amazon. It's a vinyl wallpaper and I'm just cutting it down to size and then attaching it to the inside of the drawers. And I'm also lining the sides of the drawers too. I have seen lots of furniture artists do things like this and I had never attempted it before so I thought this was the perfect time. Kristen at Shakto Interiors actually sells a lot of gorgeous hardware too. So she sent me some of those to go with my piece. These are a beautiful kind of like white marble round with a little gold accent. Love them. After the wax sat overnight, I just took a lint free cloth and buffed it up just a little bit because you know how I like things nice and matte. So just to remind you, here is what I started off with this dusty old dresser from Goodwill and here it is now. I love this chippy little dresser. I think it's so cute. I had so much fun playing with the milk paint and waiting for it to chip up. I'd love to try out some more styles like this in the future and I hope it encourages you to just go for it. Let your control freak and perfectionist go and go for a chippy milk paint look. And just so you know, she looks really cute without the frame too. Thank you for joining me for today's project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can always leave those down below. I will be back next week with another project. Thanks for being here, you guys, and I will see you next time.